Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. I did a recent video unboxing a North Korean Type 68 AK bayonet, shown here in the center, and I wanted to do a follow-up going over it in more detail and comparing it to traditional AK bayonets. So one of the most interesting things about this Type 68 bayonet is that it feels like an evolutionary missing link between the 6X2 and the 6X4 AK bayonet variants, or maybe even a 6X3, since the blades are the same. As you can tell, it has a similar style and grip as the early AK style bayonets. And it also has a fuller on each side, but it has a palmal area like the later 6X4. And also has the blade shape as well. Even the sheath is very similar to the 6X2, going for a permanently attached or not easily removed hanger, while the other bayonets have a simple latch that can come off so you can replace it as it gets worn or damaged. These have been coming in in either this uh, brown or black handles. I'm glad I got the brown since it kind of matches this one. These have been pretty expensive and this is kind of dirty since I just got it out of Ethiopia. And there are not a lot of markings on here. I mean, this one's just has the 25 is all I've seen, but maybe there will be more once I clean up this blade. I should note the 6X2 does not attach to most modern AKs, given the releases here on the front instead of on the rear. However, the Type 68 does. This is just a PSA GF3. So if you are looking for one, at least you can put a modern AK rifle on there, or you can attach it to a modern AK rifle. I mean, it's not in terrible shape. Not a lot is known about these as far as production dates and how many were manufactured because it is still North Korea and they aren't very forthcoming with that kind of information. This is the blade all cleaned up. I could probably do a little bit more still, but you can see it a lot better without all the grime caked onto there. There are no other markings other than this serial number. And you can see that the sheath does have a drain hole, which is standard for these bayonets. There was a rumor going around the collector community that beige hangers for these were meant for export and were sent to places like Cuba. However, I picked this one up from Royal Tiger Imports and they got these out of Ethiopia. So that kind of puts that rumor to rest as this and others I have seen from this shipment have the green hanger. So those were obviously exported as well, at least at some point. I will note that it is referred to the Type 68 AK bayonet on the collector's market, but there may be a different official designation that we are not aware of stateside. It was simply named after the North Korean Type 68 AKM that these were manufactured to mount to. I must say I do like the look of this variant, and I think it feels good in the hand, though it doesn't have all the features of your more common AK bayonets. I think it's a pretty good and interesting piece. Since it's an interesting AK variant and not one you see very often, obviously it'll be easy to pick out compared to other AK bayonets. Anyways, that's all I have for today. It's an interesting AK bayonet variant, so I thought I would go ahead and buy it and show it off because it's not something I've ever seen in person before. And up until now, these were in the multiple three, four hundreds of dollars, and they're still listed there places. So at least some new ones have come in, and it's kind of bringing that price down. Very interesting. I do like the fact that I can mount it on my AKs. It's unlike, you know, this guy. I don't have an AK where I can mount this one. 
But if you enjoyed this video, I have other AK Bayonet videos on the channel, so be sure to check those out. Please like this video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. The 6X.